Wide to the left side is Budiske. Open side of the field. There's a delay to Davis. Tries the right side. Big hole. He's at the 40, 35, 30. Knocked out of bounds at the 28-yard line. Wide side of the field to the left. Roper takes a snap. Hands to Johnny Davis. His tailback. He's at the 15, 10. Five-yard line to the four. Now second and goal at the one. Roper. Hands under center. Takes a snap. Options to the right, Roper takes it in, untouched, touchdown, Rice. Second and eight for the Lamar Cardinals. Pitch back to Murchison, he's going to throw the football. He's going long, the man is wide open. That's Ramsey Levias, complete at the 40-yard line of Rice, and he's brought down. Shad Smith, the junior out of Clear Creek High School, the Lamar quarterback. He has really been outstanding here in the first half. Straight drop, wants to throw oh. under pressure. He fumbles the football. Who's got it? Rice recovers, and the Owls have come up with their big first big turnover of the night. Leonard with hands under center. Options to the right side. He'll keep it. He's at the 10, at the 5, at the 2-yard line. First and goal for Rice. First and goal at the Lamar 2. Takes the snap. Pitch back to Todd Jones. He hurdles into the end zone. Touchdown, Rice. All right, on the beginning to play. The lone setback is Cyphers. Roper takes a snap, a mix-up in the backfield. He'll have to keep it. Roper is hemmed in. He's still alive, though. Looking, he's going to run it. Reverses his field. He's at the 40, 35, 30. At the 25, knocked out of bounds at the 22. Budiske wide right. Goolsby wide left. Roper on the delay to Cyphers. At the 45, 50, gets a block at the 45, 40, 39 yard line of Lamar. Four of 11 and third down conversions here tonight are the Rice Owls. Here's Roper rolling to his left, firing to his left, wide opens Budiske. It's complete at the 23 where he's knocked out of bounds. Third and one at the Lamar three yard line. Roper takes the snap, gives to Cyphers. He's close to the end zone and he's in. Touchdown Rice. Spotted squarely on the 46-yard line, their own 46. Roper, the delay to Cypress, has a hole at the 50, 45, 40 of Lamar. And a big chunk of yardage for in company. Lewis is flanked wide left. Roper trying to get some signal out to him. There's been a mix-up, but he hands straight ahead to Cypress. They don't need Lewis on the play. The lone setback is Cypress. He's had a good ball game. Roper with hands under center. Takes a snap. And options to the left. Pitch back to Todd Jones. He's at the 20, at the 15, 14 yard line. Second and one at the Lamar six. Roper will take the snap. Pitch back to Jones at the five, at the two, at the one. Touchdown, Rice. And the Owls have the lead for the first time in the ball game. Right, Nixon slot right. And Roper with a lone setback, Cyphers takes the snap. He'll roll right, looking, looking, fires wide open as Budiske complete at the 32. He's trying to get a first down to keep it alive. They trail by three. Roper has the team set, gives straight ahead to Cyphers. He bulls his way ahead to the first down. He's at the five, and the clock continues to run. Now it's stopped. Third and goal. He'll keep it, I would bet. Roper takes it in for the touchdown. And Rice has the lead with 15 seconds left in the ball game. Davis now in a tailback, replacing the starter, Todd Jones. They'll split the running backs, Davis and Cyphers. Goolsby goes in motion right to left. Roper takes a snap, gives straight ahead to Cyphers, his fullback. He's outside the 30 to the 34-yard line. First and 10 from their own 34 for the Rice Owls. Roper takes a snap, play action pass. Looking, looking, and hits across the middle to Goolsby. Complete at the 45. He's knocked down at the 45-yard line. At Rice on the right hash mark at the Indiana 40. Third and long. And Indiana showing blitz. Here comes everyone. Roper looking downfield. Has a man wide open. Complete to Budiske at the 25. Budiske is split wide left. Chris Nixon is way out to the right side. Quintus Roper takes a snap. Straight drop. Fires across the middle. It's complete to the six at the five at the four-yard line. The Owls need five for a touchdown. They need two for a first down. It's second and two. Roper. Sends Nixon in motion, left to right. Roper pitch back to his tailback, Johnny Davis. Davis punches the left side, he's got a first down. He's split wide to the right side. I formation in the backfield. Roper now splits the running backs, Davis and Cyphers. Roper gives to Cyphers over the top, gets to the one. Fourth and one at the Indiana one yard line, fourth and goal. Rice 
Roper takes a snap, rolls to his right, takes it in, touchdown Rice! Touchdown Rice! Let's see what Comalander can do here. First and 10 from his own 16. Straight drop, fires to the right side, complete to Goolsby, he looked good there. We'll send Greg King, the redshirt freshman out of San Antonio, wide to the left side, his first action of 87. Comalander fires to the weak side, Goolsby completed the 40, he's outside to the 46 yard line. That Rice will scrimmage second and seven. Rice trailing 14 to seven, late in the second quarter. Comalander back to pass, complete at the 44 yard line. Comalander and the Owls trail by seven. Takes a snap on the delay to his tailback. A big hole for Johnny Davis at the 20, at the 15. Knocked out of bounds, but not until he gets more than enough yardage for the first down. He'll spot it at the 19. Roper on the hold, a 29-yard attempt. Ball is in the air, and the kick is good. Timeout on the field, 240 left in a first. Nationell, a yard and a half away from another touchdown. Takes a snap, gives to Thompson. Thompson stops short. Yeah, the ball's got to be in the air on this Rice possession. All right, Indiana scores again on their opening possession of the second half. Here's the run-up and the kick, and it's taken deep by Roper at the 2, at the 5, 10, 15. Look out, he could go. He's at the 30, at the 35, caught from behind at the 40-yard line. Long count, takes a snap. Play action pass. He's going long. He's got Lewis out there, complete at the 5, rather the 15 at the 10. The lone setback ciphers. Roper takes a snap, optioning to the left. He'll pitch back to his tailback Jones. He has some running room. 42-yard line of Indiana, Rice football, but Rice trails by 25. Here's Roper, straight drop. Firing long and complete at the 20-yard line. The spotted at the 41, a 51-yard attempt. Hines has a career long of 46. This kick is up, and it is good. Just under five minutes left in the ball game. 35-13, Indiana on top. Here's Cramey, wants to throw again. He's sacked by Jeff Hood. Alan Cook out of Winnie. I'll get the rest of the offensive unit in a moment. The running backs, Cypher's the fullback, and the tailback is Todd Jones, the quarterback, Quintus Roper. Wide field, the open field to the left, and there's Roper rolling to the left and completes the pass to Budiske outside the 35 to the 36. 35, Keith Lewis split wide to the left side. That is the open side of the field. Nixon in motion right to left. Comalander, play action pass, looking to firing across the middle, open at Lewis. Completed the 48, 45 at the 41 yard line of LSU. He, by any stretch of the imagination, but he is a good heady ball player, a senior out of New Orleans. Here's a straight drop back pass, firing across the middle is Gidry. Oh, boy. For Rice, Goolsby standing back at his own 35. He has returned three punts for 24 yards thus far this season. Rice should be able to get some good field position out of this. DeFrank, long count, high snap, almost blocked it, it's blocked. Right. And Rice has it first and goal at the seven yard hold. Glenn Ray is three of five in PATs this season. Good snap back, ball is down, the kick is up, and it is blocked. So it's timeout on the field. 434 left in the first half. Our score LSU 28, Rice 6. Scrimmage. Bill Sam, Tony Moss wide to the left side. High formation to the backfield. Harvey Williams will dot the eye. Jones is the fullback. Pitch back to Williams, looking for running room on the left side. He's at the 40, at the 45, 50. He's in Rice territory at the 45. He coughs it up, and Rice has the football. Three yards again. They'll give him a one yard pickup to Lorenzo Cyphers. Now second and nine. Roper, straight drop. Looking, looking, firing across the middle. It's complete to his tailback. Todd Jones at the is slot left. Roper with hands under center, third and three at the 50-yard line. Rice trailing 28 to six. There's Roper opting to the left side. A lot of running room for Todd Jones. He's at the 45 at the 40-yard line. At the 39 in LSU territory at the 39. Roper takes a snap and pitches back to Jones. He'll skirt the right side at the 35. At the 30, knocked down at the 20 left in the second quarter, though. They haven't scored since. Now third and a foot. And they're doubling tackles on the left side. Russell Moses is doubled to the left side. Here's a, they were gonna pass it. Hollis has it, he runs it at the 25, 27. Roper is the holder, remember? He's also the starting quarterback. This drive is covered, 48 yards. Good snap, that ball is down, he'll kick it. It's up and it is good. Timeout on the field, 32 seconds left of the first. 
48 yard drive. Haley Washington, the redshirt freshman out of San Antonio. Buduske is put wide to the left. Here's Roper, option to the left, the open side of the field. Pitch back to Jones. He has some running room at the 45, the 40. At the 45, the 40 yard line of right. For a few minutes here in this drive, but a second and 22. Roper straight drop and fires across the middle to Cypress. Complete at the 30 at the 27 yard line. Well, they're getting a workout tonight. Yes, indeed. Back to kick it away is Ron Lewis. This is the seventh return of the ball game taken by Nixon at the five. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 at the 37 yard line. The redshirt freshman out of San Antonio, uh, San Antonio is in a split in. He's split wide to the left side. Here's Comalander, third and four, firing to King, and he catches it at the 29th. They give up 450. Second and seven from his own 16. Donald Hollis with hands under center gives straight ahead of his fullback, Haley Washington, and he cracks outside the 25. That's enough for a Rice first down. Donald's out of the huddle from his own 27 left hash mark Hollis play action pass rolling to his left he'll keep it he's at the 30 35 40 45 50 yard line at the 45 cuts it up and he's nailed at the LSU 45 here's Hollis well the Allen's at the line of scrimmage third and nine snap back drop back the throw fires to Washington complete at the 35 and he has it up for an hour first down the number five by UPI Scott Reeves now in there with one of the offensive tackle spots for Rice here's Hollis straight drop looking looking under pressure fires across the middle complete to Greg King Hollis stood in there well and zinged it to Kissick the football spotted just inside the LSU 10. Here's Hollis, three-step drop, looking, firing the end zone, all along, touchdown, Greg King. So Rice scores the second touchdown of the season against the LSU defense. These are the only touchdowns LSU has given up in 87. Southwest Texas is giving up close to 400 of our game, but uh, thus far they're holding Rice in check. Here's Roper downfield. The pass for Jones is completed to 15, knocked out of bounds at the is flanked wide to the left. Lewis is wide right, high formation behind Roper. Here's a snap. Roper fakes to his tailback. Now looking, looking, wants to throw to the end zone. Fires across the grain. Complete touchdown Rice to Melvin Turner. But they're shifting people along the defensive front. Here's Riddleman back to pass under pressure. Flares it out to his fullback, Gordy. But he's brought down behind. One of three in third down situations tonight. Riddleman back to pass. Pressure on. Firing long to the end zone. McClay picks it off. Intercepted. It'll be a touchback. And Rice will have it first and 10 at their own 20 yard line. McClay makes a big interception. Roper has the team set second and goal. At the seven yard line of Southwest Texas, Roper pitched back to his tailback Jones. Roper for running room, he's at the five. He's in, touchdown Rice. The lone setback is Gordy, third and three. Now the pitch back to Gordy, and he cocked up the football. Who's got it? There's a blue jersey on top of it. Rice takes over at the 34 yard line. William McClay comes up for the football for Rice, and the Owls a great field position with just under four minutes left in the first. Got a tight end. He's a backup tight end for Southwest Texas. High formation in the backfield behind Ridman. Second and long. Play action pass. Throwing long. McClay picks it off to the 45. William McClay. He retreats to the 50. He's at the 45 at the 40. Looking for a blocker. He doesn't get one, but he fights his way all the way inside the 35 to the 30. Rice football. At the 44 of Southwest Texas, his wing pass to Cypress. He's at the 40, at the 35, he can go. He's at the 30-yard line, gets a block, the 25-20. At the 15, brought down at the 13. And this is a field first field goal attempt of the night. Spotted at the 19, a 29-yard attempt. Ball is up, and it is good. 6-4 in height. All right, second and 10 for Southwest Texas in their own 31. Here's Ritterman firing downfield, and deflected, tipped off by Rice. Intercepted by Bowers. He's down at the 39-yard line. Of Southwest Texas on the white hash mark. Waylon Mason now in the tailback spot. Here's Cone Ladder, straight drop. He's going for all of it. He's going deep. Has a man there. Lewis, touchdown, Rice. Great play, great. Moss now working an inside backer along with Donald Bowers. Here's the third and long situation. Blitz is on. A long pass downfield. Intercepted by William McClay. What a catch. That's his third INT of the ball game. He one handed that Steve, brought it into his body, and entered.
second at the 43 yard line. The setbacks, Cyphers and Jones. The pitch back to Jones. He's at the 30. At the 35, 40, he could go. 45, 50. He's at the 40, at the 30. He's at the 20 yard line. Brought down from behind at the 16 yard line. To the left, first and goal at the Southwest Texas 5. Looks like someone jumped, but they got back. Now it gets straight ahead to Cyphers, and Lorenzo gets all the way in. Touchdown, Rice. And Merritt Robinson is split wide to the left side for the third string quarterback, Donald Hollis. He'll take the snap, play action pass. No, he's going to roll with it and run with it. He's at 30, 25, 20. Hurls over a blocker at the 10, at the 5, at the 2-yard line. Donald Hollis continues to impress. <laughs> Watch it there. All right, here's Donald Hollis first and goal for the Rice House. And Hollis will get straight ahead of his fullback in Haley, Washington. Hurdles in for a touchdown. to play from scrimmage from the 20. Running straight ahead, and now they come auction. Roper, 20, 25, 30, 35 to the 40. He breaks it big and knocked it around to the near problems, but in the ball game right now. Second and eight from the Texas 44. Roper back to throw. Blitz is on. Pass thrown complete to Todd Jones at the 40 to the Texas 35. Roper back in to call the signal. Roper back in the quarterback against Cyphers and Jones behind him, this time in an eye formation. Play action. Roper rolls to the right, has pressure, delivers the ball. It's caught by Budiske at the 20. Minor scrimmage again. The short side of the field is to the left, and they flex the tight end Turner out about 10 yards to that side. Roper deep in the pocket, drills the pass wide open. Jones at the 10, down to the 5, breaks the tackle. Touchdown, Rice Owls. Then Ray Hines comes on to attempt the extra point. He's 9 of 12 this year. Ball is down, kick is up, and he is off to the right, and no good. For the Arkansas TCU network, Rice 6, Texas nothing. First drive of the night for the Longhorns. In coming to their feet. Two tight end alignment. High formation behind the quarterback. Roper handoff goes. Cyphers touchdown. Left. Alex Waits standing back at the 20 yard line for the Texas Longhorns. 228 showing on the clock. Tied at 14. Low pass goes between his legs. Picks it up. Recovered now by Rice at the nine yard line. Scrimmages from the Rice 35. Longhorns leading 31 17. Williams in the ball game at tailback goes in motion as Roper sprints to the near side, drills the pass, has it complete, makes it at the 45 50 45. Oscar Giles comes in at left defensive end for the Longhorns. Slot to the right goes Rice, the short side of the field. Roper straight back in the pocket, drills the pass, far sideline complete to Lewis, steps out of bounds inside Thomas Aldridge and Bobby Duncan, the defensive ends. Williams comes in motion to the open side of the field. That's the right. They throw the quick out pass to Cyphers on the screen. 25, 20, 15 at the 10, and he's tackled inside the new university. Great kid, too. I'll finish the story in just a moment. Second down and eight for the 14. Comanander deep drop the throw far out, and it's complete. And left tackle for the Rice Owls. Sophomore out of Unit, Texas. Comanander on third down, back of the pocket to throw. Looking as he's hit, drills the ball, has a man open, complete inside the third. Along with Thomas Aldridge, Britt is the man who calls the defensive signals. He has had a great year. Shotgun, a high pass from center. Comanander looking long, has Goolsby in the end zone. Touchdown, Rice Owls. As the Owls go under center with a first down at their own 38-yard line. Comanander at quarterback, straight back of the pocket, now rolls to his right, throws the pass, has a man open, and Goolsby makes the reception. At the Goes to Jones, turns the corner, 15-20, out to the 25. Arkansas, open field to the left, and Goolsby is split left. Buddhist gate, slot right. Drop back pass, Roper, wide open, Cyphers, can hit it for 35. The really was saying that his team couldn't afford to make any mistakes. Well, they've made two mistakes already. It's cost him 10 points. Here's Newman with the runoff and the kick. Nixon will take it at his own to six. He's at the 10, at the 15, 20, at the 25, 30, another big ball. 35, 40 yard line, 45, knocked down at the 47. Well, no matter. Pretty well. Open field to the right for Roper, and he has Lewis split wide right. Straight drop, wants to throw. Looking, looking, firing, long. And what happened? 
Chris Nixon at the 10, at the 5. Touchdown, Rice. Well, we said going, going into this drive, Rice needed points. They needed them in a hurry. There's a 51-yard pitch and catch from Quantas Rover to Chris Nixon. Open field to the left. The lone setback is Cypher. Waylon Mason is wing right. Here's Rover, straight drop, looking, firing, long as a man. Goofy catches it at the 12-yard line. He's shy of the first down marker formation for the first time today. Roper set in the shotgun, third and long, looking, looking, under pressure, firing. Goodis at the 45, he's at the 50, at the 40-yard line of Rice. And we've got an out at the offensive guard spot on the right side. Kane Colder, who's in, who has an injured right shoulder, is back in the game. Here's Roper on a play action, looking, firing across the middle, complete at the 18-yard line. It was a little open field to the left. Five and a half minutes left to the ball game. TCU on top by 20. Roper rolling to his left, looking long, and throwing long, wide open is Turner the tight end at the 50, at the 40-yard line of TCU. Sooners. Second and 10 at the TCU, 39 for Rice. Here's Roper, straight drop, looking, firing, and the fullback to lay to Sanders. Complete at the 35, at the 30, he's inside the 30. Lewis wide to the right, this time flanked to the left side is Nixon. Roper takes a snap, looking, and he's straight drop, and under pressure, rolls, and now fires to Sanders at the 40. At the 35, puts a move on the man, gets to the 30 at the 20, set by 20 with 4.15 left. You can guess what they're going to do, they're going for it. They're are three of four fourth down conversions this afternoon. Here's a pass thrown out to Lewis, completed the throw. But they're knocking at the door here. Third and ten at the 13-yard line of TCU. Here's Roper looking to pass under pressure. Zings at the Cyphers at the 15-10, five-yard line. Touchdown, Rice. And Rice is on the board one more time. And now a flag has been thrown on the play. A 12-yard touchdown play. Roper to Cyphers. They've done a great job offensively. This guy, Quintus Roper, who bows under and barks the signals now at the quarterback spot, has been great for the Owls in the 1987 season thus far. Has a man in motion to the near side, goes straight back to pass on the first play, fires it in the middle, it's caught across the 30, 35, 40, 45 yard line goes Daryl Goolsby, and he's not going to. Great job, Rice does uh, working that uh, sprint draw and play action pass. Quintus Roper with a lot of speed at the quarterback slot, blocking the signals, motion to the near side of the field, gives the ball away to the fullback, Cyphers in the left side of the line, across the 50, the 45, gets to the 40-yard line. And so Moses, slot left, wide side of the field for the Owls. Now they go to a slot to the right, double slot, one running back behind Quintus Roper, 4-3 defense for Texas Tech, Roper back in the pocket, swings it out to the right to Cyphers, he breaks downfield to the 40, the 35, and inside to about the 33, maybe the... Now an offensive guard. Ball is almost squarely on the 10-yard line. It'll be first down and not goal. They could actually make a first down before they score a touchdown. Here's Quintus Roper handing down the middle. Big hole diving into the end zone for the touchdown was Lorenzo Cyphers. Cyphers had a big hole in the center of the line that time and some great blocking by that Rice offensive line. And he went in, was hit a touchdown. piece, and we have one touchdown apiece. Quintus Roper will hold, and Glenn Ray Hines will try the extra point, try to tie the ball game up. The kick is up in the air, and it's good. And we have a tie ball game. O.J. Brigance is coming to the ball game at linebacker now. Here's the handoff down the middle to the fullback, Irvin Ferris, and two left to go in the first quarter. 7-7, Texas Tech and Rice. The Red Raiders second down, meeting seven at the Rice 21-yard line. Quick pitch to Gray, running right. He's cornered and literally knocked down to about the 20-yard line. Season as a front-line player, but he's done a good job. He made a good play there. Gray is back in at tailback now for the Red Raiders, and here's Tolliver back to pass. Good protection. Fires it, and almost intercepted at about the seven-yard line. In and out of the hands of Kyle Lewis. It's split in. And they go in the slot wide to the left side, and they uh, split in to the right side with a slot back now as the tailback goes in the slot. That comes in motion to the near side. Roper back in the pocket. Breaks out of it, now comes up the middle across the 30, 35, 36 or 7 yard line. Almost got the first down. There is second and 10 for Roper now as he brings the Owls to the line of scrimmage. Richard Williams, the tailback, goes uh, in the slot to the right side now. Slot left also for the Owls. Here is Roper faking, keeping, kick, uh, keeping the ball to the 25, the 30, and he's out near the 35 yard line. And Roper did problem. 
couple of extra defensive backs in the ball game now for the Red Raiders. Third down and 19 facing the Owls. Looking for Roper to go up top, and he's going to go. It goes back into the pocket, fires over the middle. It's caught at the 40-yard line by Daryl Goolsby, and he's knocked down in the back there and threw it a little bit high for Goolsby, who couldn't bring it down. Here's second and 10 now from the Rice 24-yard line. Here is uh, the fake and the keep by Roper again across the 25 to 30 and still going at the 35-yard line. They had a first the line of scrimmage. He got up a little wobbly after being hit by Michael Johnson and Boyd Callen on that play. Has a first down up around the Rice 35-yard line. And here is the give to the fullback. Cypress breaks away to the 40 and outside to near by pressure on Roper to hurry that pass. 12-10 left to go in the third period. 31-7, Texas Tech leading. Play action, Tolliver back in the pocket. A lot of time, throws incomplete, intercepted by the Rice Owls. Grant knapped him with the ball. He's to the 20 and inside. Runs out of bounds about the 15-yard line, and a flag goes down around the 20-yard line. It's uh, ever just out-hustled Lewis on that play. Texas Tech on the big end of a 38-7 score now with 3.41 left to go in the third period. Roper back in the pocket, tries to run out now. He may keep the ball. He's to the 30, the 35. He may have the first down up around. Of 10 and third down conversions on the afternoon. Len Ray Hines, deep punt formation. Tyrone Thurman awaits the ball, and Thurman's going to field it in his own 30 yard line, but he is going to be pulled off down back around the 25. Back. So Kovalander in there now, calling the signal for right. Mark Kovalander, double slot left and right, goes straight back to pass, wants the throw, and fires into the middle, wide open up around the 40 yard line is Chris Nixon. Nixon is knocked down at about the 42 by a couple of Red Raiders. That tackled uh, the blocker and the ball carrier. Loss of four, it'll be second and 14. Comalander, quick opener up the middle and fighting across the 40, the 45, the 50 is Haley Washington. And he will be back, slot left, and uh, split end to the right side. Comalander goes straight back to pass, in the pocket, fires over the middle, it's caught out of the 30-yard line, going to the 35, near the 40 is Lorenzo. Seconds left to go in the game, 59-7 to the score, Texas Tech leading, high backfield behind Comalander, fakes, keeps the ball, now pitches it back to Williams, running left across the 50, gets to the 45, knocked down at the 40-yard line. Richard Williams, a sophomore. Big run, Williams was because Courtney Craven, the flanker on the left side, made a good downfield block. Slot right, split into the left side. Comalander, play action, back to pass, fires it over the middle, and it's caught at the 20-yard line. Merritt Robinson made the grab, and he... Field to the right for Roper and company. Cypress, the fullback, and optioning to the left is Roper, a big hole. At the 40, 45, 50, knocked out of bounds by Kip Thorne. Middle of the field, spotted just inside the 25. Here's Roper taking the snap, straight drop, fire. To the right side, complete to Davis at the 15 out of the AM 14. 10 13 left in the first quarter. AM on top, 7 to nothing. Here's Roper with hand center center option. He'll keep it. He's at the 10 at the touchdown race. Good. And Percy Waddle back in. He's playing to the left side. Pitch back to Darren Lewis and Lewis at the 50. Knocked back with Keith's feet. Now the loose football. And it's covered by a boot. For so many times this season, on fourth down. Maybe he would go here, but now Hines will punt it, try to hang it, angle it for the corner. Hits at the 10 and goes out of bounds at about the one yard line. Oh, boy. Second and nine for Texas A&M from their own 12 yard line. Here's Richardson. He's sacked at the one yard line and almost sacked at the end zone. Now the flag comes. I thought they might call it Dixon Brown or Jackie Sherrill and coming. Roper with hands under center. Takes a snap. He's optioning back to his 10. Now Jim to the 25, 30. Good move to the 35. All the way up to the 40 yard line. First and 10 at the Aggie 47. Roper optioning to the left side. He'll keep it at the 45. Get the block to the 40. 35 at the 30 yard line. By 11. 17 to 6. Roper takes a snap. Pitch back to Jones. At the 20, 15. Big hole. 10 yard line. That's a 5. Touchdown race. What a run by Todd Jones. And here's a sack for him. Roper looking and rolling to his left. Looking, pressure applied. Oh, Seems that the Lewis is the tailback. Collins the fullback. Pavlis pitched back to Lewis and caught behind the line of scrimmage and pinned to the ground. Both sophomores for the Yankees. Second and three now, and it gives straight ahead to Lewis, and he's caught again behind the line. Of second and seven at the Rice 35. Richardson gives straight ahead to Lewis, and he's tripped up. And at the Rice 36 yard line, I formation in the backfield. Richardson takes a snap. He wants to keep it. Caught behind the line of scrimmage and brought down. Craig Stump and company. And he has Harris split wide to the right. 
Check that Waddle wide right. And he sings a pass to Hort. Oh, tripped up in the backfield. Fumbles the football. Who has it? I think Codrington has it, but do they say for AM? Second and three. Roper giving straight ahead to Cyphers. A fullback. Big hole. 45 50 at the 48 yard line. Open field to the left. I formation behind Roper. He has Budiske split wide to the left. He'll take the snap. Roll to his left. And fire to the left. Budiske is there. Complete the 30. At the 27 yard line. Is split left. I formation in the backfield. And the pitch back. Fumbled. And Rice has it. On the slot. Waylon Mason in now. A tailback for Rice in the I formation. Comalander rolling to his right. Keeps it. He's at the 40. 45. At the 5th. 326 left in the game. Second and 10. AM in control here. Gets straight ahead to the fullback Washington. Boy, that's a big hole. He's at the 30, 25, 20, and knocked out. 14 on the afternoon in third down situations. Third and long. Coble out of the shotgun. Blitz is on. Fires across the middle. Goolsby is complete. At the goal line, he's in. Touchdown, right. That's a great read by PAT attempt. And here's Comalander looking and firing, lobbing one, a little flare pass to Goolsby. It's complete. The two-point conversion is good. From his own 36, good snap back, looking long and firing, complete. Game, they feel like they can spread the defense out a bit for Arkansas. Here's Combe Ladder with second and ten. Looking to throw and firing long. Goolsby's there. It's complete at the 30. At the 25, 20. Makes a move and down at the 16-yard line. And he beats Steve Atwater on the play. On that defensive coverage, Atwater had him man to man, and he just flat beat him deep. And Jones is wing right. And Cypher's offset to the left. There's Combe Ladder, three-step drop, firing across the middle, complete to Goolsby. Touchdown, Rice. On a post pattern, Cole Ladder hits Goolsby, and we have ourselves a 7-6 ball game of 15 yards. Pitch and can. running backs of Van Dyke and fullback Johnson to Rouse, a halfback. Here's Thomas. Pitch back to Johnson and tripped up in the backfield and brought down for a loss of 225 pounds, Matt. All right, open field to the right, and the give straight ahead to Joe Johnson. He's caught at the line of scrimmage and brought down. And knifing off middle of the field, just inside. The Rice 30. Here's Thomas, option to the right. Pitch back to Johnson. Fumbles it. Who's got the football? A blue jersey grabbed it as it went out. But he got it, Mike, when he was right. And Budiske is split wide to the right side. Nixon in the slot. And here's Comalander. Wants to throw again. Looking, looking. Firing across the middle. Complete to Budiske at the 34-yard line. Rouse and Johnson, the halfbacks. Van Dyke, the fullback. Third and two now. Just inside the Rice 30 in the gift. Straight ahead. And stop for no gain. Young man. Here's Comalander. He has the Owls at the line of scrimmage. Open field to the right, and it'll give straight ahead to Todd Jones. A big hole at the 35, 40, 44 yard line. They're going to have to push Comalander at 6 4. The coaches say he does a better job of reading the option. He just can't execute quite as well because he's not as fast. Here's a pass. Fired out to the right side. Jones completed the 40. He loses a tackler. He's at the 50 yard line. In Arkansas territory at the 40 35. A big pickup. But Nixon couldn't make the catch. Now, again, open field. Field to the left, Comalander again, back to pass, looking, has plenty of time, fires across the middle, complete the Buddhist game at the 17-yard line. Third down situation, 4 of 10, and third down situations on the afternoon. Here's Comalander to throw, looking, firing into the end zone, complete to Nixon, touchdown Rice. What a great pitch and catch, Mark Comalander, the slant across the middle of seven. They are huge up front, second and five, Thomas wants to throw, looking, looking, he has Joe across the middle, Joe Johnson, now sacked in the backfield. Thomas is brought down by Jeff Thomas. Back Nixon, who just caught the touchdown pass, is slot left. Second and eight from the right 35. Comalander, draw play to Jones. Big hole, 35 40. At the 44 yard line. In the third quarter. Now Comalander, only two seconds left on the 25 second clock. Gets the play away, rolling to his left, complete to Chris Nixon at the 45 yard line. But does he have enough tailback? But he will line up wing left. Triple receivers to the left side for the quarterback, Mark Comalander. Looking, wants to throw, fires complete to Cypress at the 25, 30, 35, 38 yard line. Second and five for Rice from its own 43. Open field to the right, Comalander giving straight ahead to Cypress, a fullback. He's outside the 40.
Miller advances on the ball and tees it high. Doesn't go too deep, however. Hollis will take it at the 7. Back to the 10, to the 15, to the 20, to the 25, to the 30, to the 35, to the 40, to the 45 before he's run out of bounds by the kicker, Mark Mahler. The split end is Mike Budiske. And the quarterback now is Mark Komalander as the Owls go to work at the 20-yard line in their own end of the field. Komalander gives the ball to the sprint draw to Todd Jones. He's to the 25, he's to the 30, he's out to the 33-yard line. Out one setback. Now coming in motion to the near side of the field is Richard Williams. Komalander goes back, looks, fires his pass over the middle. It is caught by Budiske at the Baylor 45-yard line. And Budiske, Budiske on the post rather than going deep. Matt, it looks like Rice was just waiting to get that wind at their back to unlimber the arm of the big senior quarterback. Komalander back, fires another pass. This one is caught just outside the Baylor. Jay Maps is in the ballgame now at quarterback as Baylor goes first and 10 at the Rice 43-yard line. Maps on the option, cuts it upfield and cannot go. Oh, particularly the Rice Owls had second and 11. Second down and 11 at the Rice 44 and a half yard line. Maps has one setback. That's Charles Perry. Drop straight back. Rice coming with a five man rush. Perry and rather Maps still trying to find his balance with one hand on the ground. Manages to scoot only two out of eight passes so far this year. And he's now in a long third and uh, long situation. Yes, third and long situation. Dropping straight back. Rice coming with a four-man rush. Maps throws against the wind upfield. It is going to be intercepted at the 25-yard line. Donald Hollis takes the pass away from Charles Perry. The tight end is lined up in the backfield over in a fullback position. Now goes in motion across the top of the backfield. Gable turns on the option, cuts the ball back to Perry. Perry to the outside and is tackled nicely at the 35 -year. Now three backs in the backfield. Kobe, uh, David Bell goes in motion across the backfield. Gable back under a four-man rush. Now trying to elude the rush, and it's sacked. Wade Lee coming from the outside. 18 remaining to play in the half. Baylor 27, Rice nothing. Komalander with a wind at his back. Stop, throws the quick out pattern. It is complete to Budiske to the 35. Budiske out of bounds. They represent the heart and soul of that offensive line for the Rice Owls. Komalander with one setback. Here comes a five-man rush. Throws his pass upfield. It is caught by Budiske. Down immediately by Ray Crockett. Just a couple of fine teams, and Aldine has really played well here in the last few ball games of the regular season. Third down. Komalander back with the win. Fires his pass downfield. Caught by Budiske. Out of bounds at the right at about 25 miles an hour. Rice has it at its back right now. Komalander looks at a four-man front. Drops straight back. Here comes that rush. Pumps. Now going long. He has a man open. Budiske at the 10. Budiske touchdown. Is Mark Komalander at his own 26-yard line. Keith Lewis is split wide to the left side. Now in motion comes Todd Jones. Give the ball to Cyphers. Cyphers across the middle. 30-35 to the 40 to the 45 to the 50 to the Bader 45 to the Bader 40 and out of bounds at the Bader 34-yard line. Lorenzo Cyphers on a gallop of some 40. Ball is at the 28. One setback, Cyphers. Baylor with six men up front. Coming with a five-man rush. Quick pass. It is complete for the first down to Budiske, who is a point. It's on the hash mark on the far side of the field. Out of the hold of Komalander. It is back. It is up in the air. And this time, it is good. It was 27-0 at one time. It's now 27-10. Here comes the kickoff from Rice's Clint Parsons. It's short and will be taken. Martin fumbles it. It's recovered by the Owls, I believe. Steve. Richard Williams, I believe, has it. Steve Martin, and there's a flag down thrown into the middle of the pile, and the Rice Owls have the football at the Baylor 25-yard line, I believe. It's the win. Mark Komalander, the senior quarterback from San Antonio. Cyphers, one setback. Komalander back, fires his pass upfield. It is caught by Budiske. First down marker by less than a yard. Budiske and Nixon split out to the left. Eye formation, Cyphers and Jones at fullback and tailback. Sprint draw, Jones 40, Jones 35. Jones struggles to the 31-yard line. Moving with the win, 542 remaining third quarter. Ball given away to Murray. Fumble, Rice recovers in midair to the 20, to the 15. And down inside the 10-yard line is Rice's Wade Lee. The offensive linebacker who runs back a fumble recovery in midair for 16 yards and Rice is in business at the Baylor 11 yard line and it looks like uh, right Baylor is determined to set Rice up for a touchdown uh, in this. They still didn't score ball at the 11 yard line on the fumble recovery by Wade Lee and a run back to the Baylor 11. Comalander to Cypher. Cypher's for five big yards down into five second down. They need four yards for the first down five for the touchdown. Komalander back, gives the ball away to Jones. Jones veers to the left, he's to the one. And did he get in? Flags are down at the spot of the tackle. Very close, and a, a great call because it looked like the running play they had run before when they were close to the... Although the uh, tailback, Jones, is set outside the offensive right tackle. Inches away, Komalander sneaks for the touchdown. Mark Komalander. 
When he kicks against the wind, he wears a right shoe. Fumbles the snap from center, and it's Rice's ball at the Baylor 35. Rice smothers Pete Rutter, who got about a, oh, I wouldn't say quite a waist-high snap. Field, the Baylor team, defensive team, is spending all the second half on the field. Here's Comalander back, five-step drop, has time, looking, throws his pass over the middle, caught by Keith Lewis inside the 25. Lewis is bent backwards at about the 23-yard. Two linebackers overshifted to the wide side of the field, pitches it back. Here's Jones to the five. Jones, touchdown! Rice, Todd Jones into the end zone, and the Owls have cut the Baylor lead down now to 27 to 23. Buddha skate to the right, Nixon off to the left. Tight end to the right side, I formation, Cyphers and Jones. Baylor, four man front. Play action, Comalander back, looking, fires a short pass over the middle, complete to Jones at the 35. Gary Joe Kent, Rice with the ball, third down and inches to go at their own 48 yard line. Baylor with a six man front, ball given to Cyphers, first down, breaks into the secondary, he's gone. 30, 25, 20, You're gonna be run down from behind by Blackman at the five yard line. I formation is the uh, alignment. Third down, a foot to go. Quarterback sneak, it is in. Touchdown, Comalander. Brad Gable with split backs, Murray and Perry. Now brings Bobby Jack go forth in motion across the top of the backfield. Gives the ball straight ahead to Perry. He fumbles, fumbles the football. And I believe Rice may have recovered it. But just over there, 33. Under four minutes to play. Comalander back, throws his pass out of the flat. It is caught by Budiske at the 44-yard line. First down, run. Baylor with a four-man front. Quarterback is Mark Comalander. One setback, dropping straight back. Looks, looking downfield, fires. It is complete to Lewis at the Baylor 41-yard line. First down, Rice. What a great effort by Keith Lewis coming back. They get in a field goal position to tie the ball game. They have the win at their back. Comalander back. Lofts a long pass, an out pattern. It is caught by Budiske. There, That would have been a, a big play. Budiske left, That's Nixon right. in the slot. Keith Lewis off wide to the right. Rice has no timeouts remaining. Comalander drops straight back, looks to his left, lofts it again toward the end zone. Open, it is batted away by Robert Blackman at the last moment. Four Rice from their own 35-yard line. Comalander play action pass. Looking, looking, firing, and complete the ball in corner at the 45 of U of H. He's still free. At the 40, at the 36-yard line. Dipped up in a slot left formation for Rice. Comalander has the team set. Option to the right side. He's leaping at the 5. He's in. Touchdown, Rice. A surprise move by the right. Dacus takes a snap, first and 20, looking long, looking, firing long, has a man, it's picked off by Hollis, at the 40, at the 30, at the 25, still on his feet at the 20-yard line, and Rice has great field points on the conversion. Here's Hines, 8 of 14 on field goal attempts, this is a 29-yard attempt, and it is good. Time out of the field, seven. Dacus and company, open field to the left, he wants to roll to the left, and he's set. Back at the 34-yard line, Jeff Wood comes in. Comalander open the field to the left. Drop back, and he'll throw it to the 40. Complete to Todd Jones. Puts a good move in his man at the 45, 50-yard line. Look at the little guy go at the 45, 44-yard line. And Todd Jones gets an extra to the right side. I formation to the right backfield. First and 10 for Rice at the Cougar 44. Comalander rolling to the right, firing to the right. Complete the good escape at the 30, at the 10, at the Cougar 20-yard line. 25 seconds off, almost runs out. On the blitz, he fires to Nixon, complete. What a great audible by Comalander. He walked over. 25 and 18, Houston on top. Black's first and 10 with their own 40. Comalander, what else? He's going to throw. Complete to Nixon at the 50-yard line. In the Houston territory of the Cougar 49. Black's first and 10, open field to the right. High formation behind Comalander. Optioning to the right side, giving to his throwback. That's Johnny Davis at the 35-30. He almost broke that one for a score. He's got uh, David Davis. Now we go the other direction. First and 10 for Rice with their own 34. Comalander complete across the middle. The pass to Cypress at the 40-45. Formation behind Comalander. Quick count. And Comalander firing. Complete the Buddhist game at the Cougar 40. And the third down conversions this afternoon. Melvin Turner, the tight end, now flexes out to the left side. Comalander looking, looking, firing. Complete to Jones with a 25, 20, looking for a block. He's up a 15. Our man on the field. Henry Hines is 9 to 14. Ball is on the tee. It's in the air, and it's going to be a perfect bullseye. So the Owls at least get three fourths out of the ground now. Six and third down conversions on the afternoon. There's Comeland to pass. Man fires across the middle. Complete to Jones at the 35, 40, 45, 47 yard line. Now for the right.
Down south to their own 22. They trail by seven. Cole Ladder spins, looks for the option, pitch back to Jones at the 20, 25, 30. At the 35, 40. 35, looking for a block. He's at the 45 of Houston at the 42 yard. Now he reverses his field and goes back right left. And as Dacus calls an audible at the line of scrimmage, they're going to have to hurry. They get it off. Dacus looking, looking, looking. Jeff Brown is open. Good find it. It's intercepted. Roy Thompson picks it off. And Dacus buying time, buying time, and then finally hit up. Howard's down by a bundle now. Three touchdowns. Come out of play action pass. Looking, looking, and slips it off to Tom Jones at the 45, 40, 35, 30. Little guy with the 25, 20 yard line. And Tom Jones.